All right, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about one of the most hype, crazy, expensive baits of all time of ever. Is it actually worth it? I'm talking about, that's right, the H-I-N-K-L-E, the Hinkle Shad, the big dog, the big Lebowski, that little booger right there. This is, uh, I've got a few of them. I've got the one that is blue back, kind of like a river herring. I've got one that's crappy flavored right there. I think it's super hot. And then I've got this one that's kind of like a, a light brown gizzard shad almost. But these baits are really special baits. Uh, there's a lot of baits that I really like that are in this kind of size category, but I think the Hinkle takes the cake. It is a wide bait. It's got a super realistic look to it. Um, you know, you put it together, super glue, you know, whatever, they're expensive baits. But the thing I love about a Hinkle is it's a really good bait in cold water. So when I think about cold water glide baits, I like baits that have a little bit of tilt. In colder water, I like them with a little bit of tilt. The warmer the water, I like them very, uh, you would say vertical. I like them very stable, just like this. Well, the Hinkle, to me, is kind of an in-between bait. It has a little bit of tilt to it, but it doesn't overly tilt. Baits that usually tilt, if you burn them really, really hard, they'll blow out. Uh, this bait doesn't necessarily do that. This bait, although it has a little bit of tilt, it stays super stable in the water. It moves a lot of water and you can get bit in literally 45, low 40 degree water all the way up to, I've caught fish in as hot as literally almost 90 degrees with a Hinkle Shad. So it's an amazing bait. Um, I tune all of them with a little bit of weight on the treble hook because uh, I'm fishing these a little bit deeper than most people. And then uh, the other thing that is super, I think special, is the hooks that come with them are the ST41 black nickel cutting points. Listen, they are, ow, I, I barely, I mean, they're sticky. I barely put my thumb on it and it freaking stuck my thumb. I mean, literally, I'm bleeding. I'm literally, I don't know if you can see that right there. I mean, I barely touched it. They are sticky sharp. That big gauge hook, when I'm fishing that thing and I cram on them, dude, it, they do not throw the hook. They don't throw that hook at all ever. So I'm a big fan of that hook, but big fan of the bait. Here's some awesome fish catches on it from, uh, a couple weeks ago with my buddy John Michael. This bait, is it worth five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars? I've got three of them. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Dude, did I just get thumped? Oh, I did. Hello. Oh my God. Got him. There's a 10. That's a 10. That's a 10. That's a 10. I got him. I got him. I'm going to get him. He's hooked so good. You ain't coming off. You ain't coming off, baby. Boom. Let's go. You think he's 10? Or? No, I don't think he's 10 now, but he's every bit of eight and a half. So literally, we're out here busting around, and I'm like, the water's 60 degrees. It's not a full moon, but I'm like, listen, they should be pushing up. I'm like, all day, I'm like, man, I want to go fish a dock. I want to go fish a dock, see if we can get a stage and fish. I literally made a cast. This is the main dock going into this, going into this flat. I don't know, dude, that's a dang giant. And uh, anyways, first cast with the hinkle parallel on the dock, just like we do in the mountains. And that big freaking joker came out and smashed it. I was reeling and I felt, and I was like, what the heck? And I scoped over to it. And then I was like, oh, that is a giant. And I went to work it again. I'm just like, oh gosh. And just saw that big mouth wallering down there. They're right here. Dude. <laughs> Got him, giant. Oh yeah. Oh, he smashed it. Giant. Oh. Dude, that is such a big bass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? God, let's go. <laughs> oh, it's huge. It's huge. 
<laughs> oh my gosh guys look at that that might be a double digit bro dude he's 26 inches <laughs> oh my gosh all right so john literally just cast it out and we saw a gizzard shad break and he cast it out caught like a two pounder and then i started figure eighting it and then i saw them on the graph and i cast it back to him and literally this one i mean i was just like you you and it was just like boom and hit it size, and built like that it's the same size as 10 4 i call the 10 4 i call the 26. i don't know i don't know whose bait they're on but they're freaking out over something i think it might be my light on you oh got him is it big uh, yeah, it's, it feels big no not big Keep him in, keep him in, keep him in there. Just, let's just see. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> I'm not good at that. <laughs> I need to learn. The guy, he ate it and he ate it and like swam right to us. So I thought he freaking ate it and I missed him. Like I did the other day, the boy ate it. Good one. Don't want an Three pounder on the his ankle. Say what? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Got him. You got that one. Yep, it's a giant. Oh yeah, on the hinkle. It's gonna happen this morning. Not a super giant. Oh, oh, probably a six. Oh my gosh, he smashed her, son. Smashed her. Yeah. Say what? Fire up. There's no score in here. Fire up. Oh yeah. Good one right there, baby. Let's go. On the. Stinkle, the old Stinkle Shed. Yeah. It's funny, this is a giant bait. Looks like nothing compared to a six pounder. I hope you enjoyed that footage. It's a really awesome bait. It gets bit. Um, I catch fish from three pounds on it all the way up to, I mean, absolute freakzilla giants. It is a bait that will put big ones in the boat. It's a great tournament bait uh, for lakes in the South, Florida, where there's big golden shiners, big gizzard shads, uh, Georgia, Alabama. I mean, I've caught fish literally from Texas uh, east and is like Tennessee all the way North Carolina south I've caught fish up in Virginia I mean the, I've caught fish all over the southeast on that bait if you're looking for a bait that mimics gizzard shed man this is a high dollar bait I think it's worth it like I said I've got three of them it's a special deal but uh yeah the hinkle shed